Hi and welcome back to my channel. Today I have another page in my junk journal and I want to use up some of the bits and pieces that are laying on my desk. I'm starting by adhering some old book papers to the pages. I'm going through my stash and I look what I like to mix together and at first I wanted to use these flowers that you see here but finally I decided to pick some other flowers. Um, I just play around with the supplies that I have on my desk. I want to use up some of the leftover bits and pieces and I try not to start with any kind of new paper or product because that would mean I will get even more leftovers. I'm using the Tombow glue stick to stick everything down because that's the quickest way I think. You can of course use gel medium instead. The book I'm working in is one of my handmade journals. I don't know if I have a tutorial for this. I will see if I can find one and then link it up in the video description. Um, it's a very thick book and I will never make such a thick one again because it gets so bulky and it's really hard to work in. You see I also picked some of the designer papers that you normally use for scrapbooking or card making and I have several of them in my stash and this was also a leftover piece. When I have leftovers I staple a bunch of them together so I have little booklets to flip through and I can tear out some papers and use them in my journal. I decided I want to add some stitching, stamping to the bits and pieces to make it look more loose and more interesting. I also decide to go in with a leafy border stamp just to create more interest and texture on the page. I'm using archival ink to stamp everything because I want to go on top with paints and I don't want to smear my stamped images. Now I'm going in with my white heavy gesso and I fill in some of the gaps and blend the whole background together. I don't cover up everything, I make sure that the main images will still peek through and also some of the texture and I also don't want to cover up uh, the whole black. I still want to use the flowers I had picked before and now I just have a look if they fit and what I need to add to make the page complete. I decided to go in with my watercolors. I love this step, it's really relaxing and I really enjoy playing with the paints.
Maybe you can remember that I had a free printable each weekend during this corona quarantine time and I took a break from it through summer and I promised to be back in October and it's a lot of work to make these free printables so I decided I will upload each once a month so each first weekend of the month you can download a new printable from my website you will find a link in the video description I also want to do some mark making on the page to give it even more texture and therefore I just use a water soluble graphite pencil and scribble all over my page. I'm also using some of the Derwent Intense pencils. These are similar to watercolor pencils and I really love to use these on a wet page because the pigment gets released really intense and that gives it a really interesting look. I just add some scribble and marks to make the page more interesting. I am still not happy with the background and the flowers don't fit very good. So here I decide to bring in even more contrast and go in with a black gesso. When the black gesso is dry, I go in with only Posca markers and do some more mark making on my page. And here comes the point where I decided to add different watercolor flowers. I have a lot of them laying here because I love to paint them and I often cut them out and use them in my art journals.
I can't remember which glue I used to stick them down, but I believe it also was the Tombow glue stick. If you want to see some of my watercolor painting videos, um, please check out my Instagram account. I have already some EGTV videos of this uploaded and there are also some videos here on my YouTube channel. As always, I have linked up my blog post for this spread and there are some close-up images. To finish up the page, I am adding some words and I pick words from my journal word stamp set. This one is already stamped and I always have a bowl with all the words laying next to me and I can pick some when I need some. And here I decided to add the word dream and belief. And that's my finished page for today. I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope we will see us next time. Bye!